So we're here again with Jen from the Mittagong Visitor Information Centre. And um, it's a bit of a gloomy old day compared to last Friday, wasn't it? Sure it's is, there. yeah. But um, there's still lots of things to do in the Highlands and, and Jen's going to tell us about some of them for the weekend. First we're going to start with the uh, Mossvale Flea and Farmers Market. It's on tomorrow, on Saturday, out at Mossvale Showground. Um, so lots of uh, people out there selling all their goods and things. And uh, I'm told there'll be a good opportunity to get some nice little Christmas gifts if, uh, if you're out there. Um, they've got some nice interesting little knickknacks and things apparently. Exactly, and with the last one for the year and get our Christmas shopping started or finished if you're <laughs> depending where you're up to. Yeah, lots and lots of nice food and, and, uh, and all sorts of stalls there. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Colorado have their village markets on as well, so it's always nice to get out and support the community up there as well and everyone comes out so that's mm. one. Lots of exhibitions this weekend as well. If I can mention um, at Sturt they have Opening Doors which is their graduating exhibition for their School of Wood so that starts tomorrow as well on Saturday and continues on. And some of that work's just absolutely beautiful so uh, well worth a look. Yeah exactly. Um, out at Exeter last weekend and continuing on, uh, Wendy Sharp is here at Gallery Across. Um, now Wendy won the Archboard, I think it was in 96 from my research and lots of other artists awards and things so it's great to get out and support that and we're so lucky here in the Highlands that people do come and show their works it's like that. It's an amazing artist too. Yeah and the other thing I have to mention of course is Barrel District Art Society and the Brown Bookshop. They have Kids on Show which is our primary school children and our, a lot of our homeschool children showing their works of arts throughout the year as well so let's get along and support that as well. well that'll be a great one for proud parents and uh, and those interested in, in uh, that sort of work as well there should be some some nice fun things I think. Yeah exactly mm. yeah mm. yeah um, also at, uh, we have Hopewood the country stayed out on Centennial Road it's open this weekend now they have their it's a Christmas opening weekend so they have Christmas decorations all your summer entertaining needs uh, Sub Susie Anderson shows her wares there so um, get along to that and also the Pavilion Cafe will be open so if it stops raining for a little bit you can get out for a little walk around mm. about 11 acre garden there as well so speaking of cafes it looks like it could be a week a weekend that'll be good for cafes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, and there was a, a Christmas concert, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. At the Mittagong Playhouse. Now, it's Friday the 9th of December or Saturday the 10th of December. Two shows, they're both at 8pm. Tickets are on sale now and they are selling very fast. So it's a very popular concert event. So come into the Visitors Information Centre and grab your tickets. Okay. Or give us a call and we can do it over the phone. Great. So um, lots of indoor things to do, which is look, looking like it's the likely thing to do this weekend. And uh, if you want any other information, please pop down to the, the information centre here at Mittagong and Jen or one of the other team members will be happy to help you. Yeah, great. Have See you next week. Yeah, okay. you do. Bye. Bye. <laughs>